Welcome to the channel. No. <laughs> Sandy says read and welcome to the channel. Oh, you guys. We are going to do an unboxing. We're going to do an unboxing that is fit for National Novel Writing Month. How are you guys doing on your word counts? Are you guys writing this month? I am writing. In fact, I had a breakthrough over the weekend. I needed a way to um, to kill off one of the bad guys. I know that in the last third of the book, um, a lot of the action is going to be taking place in this mine section of the world that I've built. And I needed a way to kill this bad guy. And I know the, the crushing action that is going to happen to him. I know that I need to move him through this crushing action. But I didn't want to have it set up with like a water moving a mill. You know, I didn't want to do that. So I went, hmm, steampunk. I need to work steampunk into this. And I had this fabulous breakthrough over the weekend. And the words have been just flowing because of that. Of course, you know, I have this day job during the day, so I have to stop writing and go to bed at some point in the night and then get up and work during the day. So I have to put all these, you know, characters and creatures and weird stuff to like this corner of my brain while I do my day job. So National Novel Writing Month is going well for me. I hope it's going well for you guys. In the comments below, let me know how it's going. And let's do an unboxing of my Scribbler box. My da -da 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 -da. Somewhere it says write. Where does it say write? Are you guys seeing it? No? I, I, whatever. I'm trying to get to the tape without, you know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to move the blade away from yourself, right? You know, my dad taught me that when he was telling me about hunting stuff. But of course I just wave blades around, so the tape is cut. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I've got it upside down. Oh, that's, all right. There, there's where it says right. <laughs> you guys. Okay, apparently this was the October box because it's got little bats on it. Let's see. Scribbler writing exercise. Most fiction novels have three to four parts. Well, three, right? A three-act play. Uh, with something at the end of each one that raises the stakes. In the space below, jot down a list of ideas that could heighten the stakes for your main character. Let's see what else is in the box. This is Novelly Yours Candles, Muse Fuse. Oh my goodness, this scent is coffee, vanilla, and orange. Isn't that interesting? Coffee, vanilla, and orange? I'm, I'm gonna sniff it. <laughs> oh, God. We're not going to sniff that anymore. <laughs> orange is not a good scent for me. The coffee and vanilla is very nice. But yeah, orange is not really... <clears throat> that, you know, we can probably give to someone. All right, look, guys. There's crinkly pepper. Crinkly pepper. You know, I like the crinkly paper for my birdies. I'm going to just, like, throw it in the floor. <laughs> so it's out of the way. Next up, we have something that looks like a journal. Oh, nice. I'm happy about journals. It is a journal. <laughs> it's a journal with some kind of like skull on it. Mm -hmm. You know, I love me some paper, right? Okay, so we can do some creative thought process journaling in there. Yay! <laughs> so we have writer magic inside. Okay, so let's open this and see what it is. What is writer magic? Exclusive chat with Lindsay Rose. That'll be good. I like to hear how other editors think and what's uh, what's kind of new and happening in the book editing world at this time. I'm a member of the oh, American Copy Editors Society, and that group is more magazine and, and journalism related stuff. So it's good to kind of keep my finger on the pulse of book editing also. Next! Oh! Buttons! Buttons, buttons, buttons! Hmm. Am writing. Tell your story. Stet. Nice. <laughs> um, those are cute. I will... Oh, I guess I should show them to you guys. Sorry! Cute. Next in the box we have writing passport. Plotting. Oh, plotting. Yeah. Oh, 
my gosh, I opened it up. This is funny. I just randomly opened to a page and item number six in this pamphlet is what is the inciting incident? And I was just like writing up a blog this morning about inciting incidents because the novel I'm writing for NaNoWriMo has three inciting incidents. Uh, inciting incident A happened like in the past and we will revisit it during the novel, but inciting incident B happens in the prologue and inciting incident C is what opens the story and makes all the action begin. So yeah, the inciting incident is vital vital to your story. So that is awesome. That is funny that I just opened it to that because yeah. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I'm looking forward to reading through this. Next in the box we have Publishing Process Inside Look. This is, ooh, sharing some copy edits between, between, uh, which author? Robert Brinza? and his editor, I guess. Wonderful. Okay. Boxed. Oh, we have the signed book plate that will go into, get ready for it guys. Here comes the big reveal. Da 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 da. There's the book, The Night Stalker by Robert Brinza. Hooray. That's a really nice cover. I like that big eye. That's nice. Excellent. I'm happy. I will have to read this and I'll have to put the signed book plate into the book. Yay! Good stuff, good things. Oh, there's still more in the box. Holy crap. Okay, um, bookmark. Yay! And what is this? Save the Cat Writes a Novel. What? 20% off everything! Oh, yay, good. I can buy some books at half price and at 20% off. That is always a good thing. Yay! All right. The box is now empty except for a few more pieces of squiggly paper that go in parrot toys. That's it guys. Was that exciting? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. That's a good box. Thumbs up because that was a good box. Hooray. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. We're done. What should I write in the journal? Hmm. Hmm. We'll come up with something. Thanks so much guys.